Hello and welcome back to the Stanley Parable 2 where I seem to have the option for an epilogue now which is weird because I really don't think I've done everything in the game but let's play it anyway here oh damn and the bunker boom thingy magic isn't even here ah okay weird if you guys remember this ending the skip button ending I guess it wasn't an ending but you know oh hey we seem to have found some wood and a chair let's Good. I don't know where we found any of this stuff, but sure. Warm ourselves up by the fire. Seems if we just leave our fire behind. Goodbye, fire. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I shouldn't have left my fire behind. Just a bunch of desks office supplies? Well, mainly just chairs. trees. We're heading away from the sun. That's not good. I was heading towards the sun. Oh wait, no. It's setting. That means we are still heading the same direction. Good, good. Oh, hey. It's, it's the narrator's memory. Memory place. I've already forgotten what it was called. Oh no, but it's all wibbly. Is it an illusion? Is it actually there? Seems like it might be. Generator's on. What's it powering? Oh, all our achievements have gone. Oh. This is weird. Oh, okay. Just gonna fall down there like it's nothing. Okay, this is so strange. Where are we powering? Oh. He's blog. Oh no. I feel the Stanley Pyro too. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Pyro, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. But the first game teemed with originality. The Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fan base. Rather than expanding on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into a territory nobody asked for an infinity an infinitely deep hole who cares where are the new endings what about enjoyable bits from the stanley parable one like the adventure line instead we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines even this diversion feels incomplete collecting all the figurines gives you nothing i must say i found the bucket to be quite comforting and a welcome recipient for a receipt form it doesn't continue any further. Um, okay, well, we're still following the power line. But I don't know how there could be reviews for the game up that's not even done yet. Jim? Jim. <laughs> Stanley Parable developers, no more spin offs, no more sequels. Okay, well, you guys can read that for yourselves. I don't need to read everything. Probably more distracted if I read it.
Okay, let's go. Should have been enough time for you to read it. A lot of gyms everywhere. <laughs> the narrator remembers gym. Oh, so many statues. Gotta collect them all. Oh gosh, you can as well. Let's keep going. I want to know what this is all about. An epilogue? Oh. Thank you for the new content. Yeah, that was a sign that was there. What's this? Single computer? Hello again. <gasps> I found you! It's nice to see you. It, but it's terrible to learn that we'll never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developers said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's make... <laughs> Let's keep making the Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, the narrator... So this isn't the narrator? I didn't think it was. You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not that hard. In fact, let me show you. Together we are going to make the Stanley Parable free. Oh my gosh, how deep does this rabbit hole go? It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also really, really <laughs> need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy? Go ahead, try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is a lot of pressure. Um, um, the Temple of Content. Stanley Free. The, <laughs> the Stanley Parable Free. The Temple of Content. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. Oh my gosh. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this over. Adding more content sounds like work, no need to do that. It'll just be the same content, recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. <laughs> that sounds familiar. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have it to say as well. I l yes, let's do it. I love it. Good, then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you've put faith into my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? <gasps> of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. Alright then. Alright there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral out on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. Ah. <laughs> um, it's actually quite early in the morning. I mean, I don't know if this is considered early anymore, but I started recording like two hours ago. So now it's quite uh, late into the morning. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It is a minute before nine. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. I will do that. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Stanley Parable free temple of content. Oh my. What the? <laughs> this is a, a PNG for car driving by. Oh, this is weird. This is the story of a man named Stanley. 
Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So you know how there's that line of as if he was meant for this job or made for this job? That, that really really makes sense with what we found out in the last episode. With Stanley being created by the narrator to do his boring job for him. That's so cool. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, <laughs> okay, he couldn't okay, okay. find a trace of his co-workers. Um... But Warmth wait. spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again... New content! <gasps> we can go back! Oh! New content? What does that mean? New content? Oh, but I really wanted to do, do the confusion ending with the bucket. Oh well. I guess we'll go back to the new content with the bucket. Maybe we can restart in Stanley Parable 4. The never-ending desire. Desire. What, why did I say that? I know, never-ending desire for new content. There we go. Fixed it. Made, Hello, made sense. and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, I've been playing it As for a while. As you may know, actually. the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, <laughs> it was expanded upon in 2022 <laughs> with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Yeah, but now we have the Stanley, the Stanley Parable three. Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Who Wait, Stan, I've just now realized that bucket you're holding it's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. How did you get your hands on it? Uh, Isn't this the preview to the sequel? Yeah. How do you have the bucket already? This, this makes no sense at all. <laughs> um, yeah, are we about Hold to get on. two buckets? Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? I don't remember doing that at all. <laughs> You're seeing things all out of order. You kind of, um... You kind of get reset every time I start the game, so I still got zero All right. jumps. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. I can't jump. I've got no jumps. Sadly, it's quite it's quite sad. Okay, well that was fun. The Thanks, Chris. Hill, the giant door. Did you see them already? The Stanley, giant door. None of them are ready yet. I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look when you saw them? Were they captivating? Were they exciting? They were, did they fulfill yes. on the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly impressed. be? Had I figured out how the hell to make a sequel to this game? Yeah, just about. 
Um, I've actually um, played the sequel and um, the prequel as well. Wait, you if you're still content. carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. <laughs> yes. You carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. The bucket is the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. I did it! I win! I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable! Yes, the sign is correct. Thank you for enjoying <laughs> the new content. Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you. Clinging tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. It means I've won. It means I am victorious over the gamers. It is a sweet salve of victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no okay. Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win, I win, I win, I win, I win. I, I, win, I kinda win, need you to I take win, me to the, win, win, to the showroom. Please? Oh no. Okay, don't take the bucket with me. <laughs> Got it. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Please. Stanley please decided to go to the content? meeting room. Perhaps no. he had simply missed a memo. Please. Please, new content. Okay, thank gosh. Let's go. Oh, returns to the Stanley Parable 2 Expo Hall. Yeah. That's new, right? That wasn't there before. Can I just like cheat and skip this whole thing? Oh, good. It didn't make me go through that whole thing again. <laughs> it's a really nice intro, but it takes forever. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Hey. We're back. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Just to reaffirm, we're in the Stanley Parable 3. This isn't the same full screen as Calling before. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Weird. So, is everything going to be the same, but but just the, the achievement machine? For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. <laughs> but of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Morning. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Sorry. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. 
<laughs> All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless button that says, Jim, are you happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? Sorry, but I just really wanted to. I couldn't help it. Maybe I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable too. They mm -hmm. would appreciate what I've created here. Oh my god, that sound happens again. That's so weird. I hear it all the time. No screenshots. No screenshots. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? That one. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's <laughs> opinion, it Yay. makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get Well Someday it is. Well, you know, actually, I wanted this one anyway, maybe I should so... have gone with... No. Nope, I've made my decision, we're moving on. I wonder if this barcode actually... Uh, barcode? I wonder if this QR code actually takes you to a merch store. I don't have a scanner, so I won't be able to know, but it could be cool to, to find out. Um, um, okay. I mean, logical next step is the, bu the bucket, right? We can go take the bucket. This is fun. I'm glad we're back here. I was worried that we wouldn't be able a to explore this place. The complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, Anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, okay. the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient <laughs> solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, That's the right. bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Bucket. <laughs> but you always sound so insane. Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Well, he is. <laughs> the benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? Can't All this back. and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I guess not. All right. Let's continue on. Let's go just... Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. It really should be, shouldn't it? Right, now where was the machine? I don't really remember. Oh wait, free achievement. <laughs> right here. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I forgot that everything's got giant labels on it. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. My friend fixed it for me. Yay! <laughs> as you can see, the machine is not working yet since... What? Wait. What in the holy hell is going on? You got the achievement? I did. Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. <laughs> composure? Composure. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen oh, yet? Oh, I might have just cut him off there. Oops. Um, yeah. So, I guess... The narrator's finally realizing the existence of somebody else who's in control of this place. It's not just him. 
I don't know what else we can do now, actually. Which is concerning. Because there's a lot to do. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for... You see? Isn't it wonderful? It's wonderful. One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button <laughs> to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. I'm not too sure about that one, actually. I think I might want to go visit the bottom. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. No. Actually, I think I'm just going to keep going. Right until I hit okay, the bottom. Stanley, I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't oh. want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Hey. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Oh. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. That was you different. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusual. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe <laughs> you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, the thing's got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. I didn't say Why nothing. don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole Mostly, Mostly infinite. infinite. Yeah, okay. If that works for you, that works. then go ahead and press the teleport okay. button to warp up to the top of the okay, hole. I'm pressing it. it. I'll pressing just be it. up here when you're ready. Great. Thank now, you. I'm very excited right, to show you back. even more. Oh, for heaven. <laughs> you see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. I do love a good hole. Normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... <laughs> oh. This much shorter. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Yeah. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. That's I mean, sad. Admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide no. you've had enough of the hole, so you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Okay, let's go. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. I haven't. Wee. Gosh, <laughs> how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing with Oh wow. Okay. Yes. Really I'm starting to become infinite. extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. It is, isn't it? I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even mm. by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Oh, you're encouraging jumping down the hole. Oh, there now. it is. Oh. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. <laughs> An aggressive divot. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with oh, wait, holes, we can't jump. but at this depth, oh. I just can't see this scratching the itch. Mm. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Oh, this is fun. I love a good hole. Just the two of us, we can make it if, if we try just the two of us. Building castles in the sky, just the two of us, you and I. Isn't that a song? I swear that's a song. Maybe that's why it's written down like that. 
a lot of meeting fires. Okay. I guess this is the only way out the hole. Hmm. Um. Is the um teleport button not working? No. You sure? Doesn't well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment you ago. You broke it. Try it again. Both Still broken. nothing. Well, I suppose I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, what? Stanley. No, no. You wouldn't bear to be away from the hole. No, no, no. And now you'll get more time with it than you no, no, could no, ever no, have no. asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole. No. I get to do literally anything else. Let Take care, out. Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity. Oh. Well. Um. Stuck here. We actually just stuck here. Yeah, okay, well I guess this goes for a reset, huh? Hey, the balloons. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Get Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I really want to do the. I'm Stanley doing the picked ending. up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Confusion Stanley ending. clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Confusion but ending. But Stanley bucket. had felt the bucket calling to him, bucket. telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Is it confusion and here ending? it was. Had the bucket well, turned I'm out to be I'm going for the correct. adventure line. Was it? No, That's fine. I'm going for it. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Let's get lost. I love getting a little bit lost. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd Whoa. find this place eventually. Um, you see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care fun. about you very much. Very it's this bucket you're deep carrying deep. around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley parable. It's just sequel content. Yeah. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic mm. characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket <laughs> that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Mine. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? I would we like could that. make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans oh want. Let's I do it. Moving. That's strange. Okay. Whee! Look at Whee! that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? It's oh, great. and it played some silly music as well. Yes. The music was too loud. Now this oh. is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great uh. jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Excuse me? <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. Where are we but going? if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. No. No, I don't want to. I want to keep it. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Oh. <gasps> I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? No. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Oh. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Mr. Bucket. Oh. I'm sorry. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the Bucket. I don't know what the Bucket Destroyer will do if it can't destroy your Bucket. Destroying Buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. 
Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, no. you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded yeah. with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. The I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. So okay, shaky. the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry no, and feed it. We can't it. get can't back to it. the classic Stanley Parable no, characters like the Adventure no. Line or the Bucket Destroyer no. until you crush bucket. that damn bucket. Quickly bucket. now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the no. fans what they want. I know, hurry I can't. and... Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Um, I don't feel bad. He was going to eat my bucket. Um, well, I guess, oh, I really gotta know what happens if you feed it the bucket. Oh, All this is going to break my heart. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go oh, to the Mr. meeting bucket. room. The good old bucket. Good old Just bucket. Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Mm -hmm. What a Stanley thrilling adventure the bucket this is going to be. To his chair. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the oh, employee the lounge the... was simply the place to be. And here it was. The had the bucket closet. turned out to be correct? Me and bucket was this have room? an intimate moment Never in the mind. Room closet. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took okay, the door on his left first. to go back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Room closet. Still, no one was here. Let's go have some Stanley fun needed in the, the bucket's room warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his Ow. boss's office Thanks. was where he'd find answers. Oh, hmm. Stanley, can you feel it? Here. The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can My feel bucket. that, can't you? The aura of my jealousy, bucket. it's as clear as no, day. No, no, this no, no, broom bucket. closet believes it deserves the bucket. Oh, my bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's no. supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Talk Not a cleaning you, supply. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. No, it's my I bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. Uh. This is your bucket. This so is your pressure. companion and lifelong friend. Yes, it's mine. You can't hand it over. No, 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 no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk yeah. that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to you hand over the me? bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting <gasps> friends? What? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? Excuse that me? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an no. even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning Very comments. Very bad broom Expand closet. Expand on the How wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. I've had the wildest Go through experiences. each of them point by point. I, I Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over we the years. We tried to escape together. Let I put you in a it. launch pod. We've done so many things together, Mr. Bucket. So many things. There was no way I'd ever give you up. Okay. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. There. Now it's settled. Property no more debate. Stanley. No more mm -hmm. discussion. Mine. Take a hike, broom closet. Yeah, broom With all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. How dare you try and stage an intervention with me? 
I see why you were really at that All meeting. Alright, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm oh. going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. Bucket. See? <laughs> I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're Insurance holding is a bucket, a bucket or not, oh. you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. <laughs> there really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. There really is. Um, that's alluding to another ending of, well, is this a bucket? Is it not a bucket? You know I have no clue. I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. <gasps> and to be honest, I'm sick so of the rude. pettiness on display. You can okay. stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Yeah, okay, you go outside. I'm not done with this room. I'm going to beat it up. Just beat up the I can't really do much to beat it up, actually. Um, guys. Hello, Marita. Um, I actually don't really have anything to do without you here. Oh, Mr. Bucket. This is the cleaning supply room. It's quite rude. We should probably... We should probably leave. You know? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's leave. Maybe, um, maybe we can go back. No, we can't go back. That's sad. Okay. Well, um... Now my bucket says property Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay, sure. <laughs> I guess. Um, actually, you know what? That that could be fun. Let's go and escape with my property. The 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 office building can't keep it from me if it belongs to me, right? It's got a big sticker on Stepping it. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Oh, was the bucket did. guiding him? Yes, I think so. this is certainly the most logical explanation. Mm -hmm. Very logical. Quite logical explanation. It's obvious that the bucket is taking me to the exit. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Yes, it was, it was Soothing got him, bucket. comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. I'm glad I have the bucket then. We're all gonna be fine. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. What happens if you take it into the escape? Fun. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. I don't know, what else do you do with a bunch of screens? You are Eve. <laughs> the monitors jumped camera. to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. <gasps> Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears mm, as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Everything is fine. So are we going to be allowed out now that we've got the stickers on the bucket? Saying that it's my property? Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do, what kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Feeble? No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Bucket is trustworthy. Bucket is only trustworthy. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, 
eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, <laughs> and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest that enemy, time. freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Mm. Freedom was now Don't mere stop. moments away. Oh, Excitedly, yeah. the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live oh, once they stepped me. through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. And to... <gasps> no! But the well, bucket belongs wait. to me. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? It belongs to me. Look, was Stanley and the bucket Stanley. not about to be freed? Means that An we're unbearable about to silence filled the room, lingering oh. in uncertainty, no. until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket but to it, leave. But it might. No, 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 no. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket, but needed the soothing warmth of the it's bucket. Not okay. It only lends, not but, part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley hmm. gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. No, I really thought we might let us escape All that of time. his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard this. Stanley looked, no. he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. He still got the stickers on. That's fun. I like that. I want to find this other computer. Oh. Oh, it reset. <laughs> okay, well... I guess we'll keep looping until we get it. Oh, it's changed again. Look, it's a different corridor. And, hmm. I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Do we go through the new content? Do we do we go through the normal game? I don't know what to do. This is so much pressure. Um, are there any endings I can think of that... Oh, the wife? Maybe we can take the bucket to see our wife? I wonder if that would be any different. Let's do that. Okay, let's take the bucket to go see our fake wife. Where are we going today, the bucket asked. <laughs> Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. It's a bit weird. The corridor changes sometimes. Okay, Stanley wife time it is. the bucket tightly to his chair. This was not the correct way <laughs> to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. It's not. We're going and on. here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it? No. Never mind. No. The bucket was wrong. Bucket is wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go no, back to the meeting room. Didn't happen. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. Okay, There's changed. something up there I need you to do. Oh, Stanley okay. did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley oh, chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that, that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. The bucket's not allowed that way. All right, here we are. 
What do you want In me to here, do? said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Dark room? I mean, they're not that dark. Oh, you mean that dark room? Well, okay, this is where I wanted to go anyway. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. Together? That sounds fun. A life with bucket and not my wife? This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Bucket. Hello, Bucket. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your Bucket. Press O to take me to work with you. I'd love to take you to work, Mr. Bucket. Where is my O? There it is. Oh. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Ooh. Bucket was merely meant bucket. to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever um. Stanley is hearing the Bucket say to him is just in his head. Um, Bucket? Bucket! Press M to take me back home with you. Well, that was a quick work drift. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Bucket. Look how glorious you are. M to go back to work. O N M. What do we well, spell? Try anyway. Stanley, can yes. you hear me? Listen Not to me. Really. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it would ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. Press O for us to go back home. Oh, home. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me mm -hmm. he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is this awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. I do care about you, bucket. You're my friend forever. Press F to ignore anyone in your life except for me. <laughs> it's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, <laughs> empty Ooh, bucket, hiccups. this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Very shiny. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press G to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. You better not like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. It's my bucket. We live the same day with me over and over. Oh my oh, god, what am I imposing. saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. Uh. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's uh -oh. so much more than just a regular bucket? Because it's the bucket. Go home to work, to home, to work, to work, to home, to home, to work, to work, to home. Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings. For the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Oh. Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Oh, perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. No, it's my bucket. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Oh. Why, hello there, Mr. Bucket. Um, it's a lot of... Stanley, Animals. give me the bucket. That's give it to bucket. me. Give no. me the bucket, I'm, I'm, Stanley. No, I no. need it. Give no. it to me now. No. Give it no. or I'll... No. no. We're going to have such a good time. Go back to work, Stanley. Bucket? But our romantic... Oh. Our 
romantic evening with Bucket is not over. Bucket. A good bucket, a strong bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Is that it now? Is that... Are we done? Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Is this just... Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Is this just it? Is this... Is this just normal ending now? Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Because I don't actually know what to do with myself. Has this thing got the thing? No. Um... Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Let's reset. Oh, what the heck? Why is there paper all over All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps what he had that? simply missed a memo. Oh, it's everywhere. This is weird. Uh. The embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the <laughs> test of time. So much paper. Um, Stanley we're doing clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. We, and we here it was. Had bucket. the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this no? Never mind. Try to seduce me and wrong. the narrator. We can't Stanley be took that. the door on his left to go back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. We're going this way. Oh, oh. oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. Hey, hello, broom closet. You're a bit of a douche. I don't want to talk to you. You okay. see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're mm. the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what Interesting. fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Whee! Look at that wacky line. <laughs> who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, mm -hmm. and it played some silly music as well. How dare you trick me like this, narrator? So mean. Now, Fine, this is what the anyway. Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. I don't <laughs> know where that's from. <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back me. then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. Exactly but like if we this. want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Hmm. Making me follow the adventure line. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. The I think it'll chance. make a wonderful new addition to the Bucket. rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast oh. all along. Don't you agree? Bucket, I'm really sorry. Can you that guess what the you. Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket. Goodbye, and then bucket. pop it into the machine when you're ready. One, now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do oh. if it can't destroy your bucket. I'm Destroying trying. buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality oh. trait. 
Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only um, one personality trait deserve to join I'm the trying. pantheon of beloved I'm really trying. characters? Oh, what do you see? Oh, if you were to really explore please, the Bucket Destroyer, please, you would see that its desire no, to crush I mean, buckets please, is so oh. densely loaded with complexity oh. and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. Yeah. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The, the broom closet? Certainly yeah, not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and crush. I was trying. Huh. I really thought I might have been able to destroy the bucket. Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Okay, well. That's all I've got time for in this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one, where things seem to be still a little confusing. Bye-bye! <laughs>